Waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Eagle Moss review and yes for better or worse we are at the end of our Star Trek Discovery Eagle Moss Trifecta tribute and uh, so if you enjoyed it uh, I'm sorry and if you didn't well uh, welcome back to the channel but uh, today on the table we're going to be taking a look at the hero ship of the series the first version of the USS Discovery from the 22nd or 23rd century I, I honestly forget uh, but either way we're not worried about timelines here but yes we do have the discovery on the table ncc 1031 it is a cross sealed class starship as we will soon discover and uh let's get a good look at the box and of course eagle moss always doing that product shot pretty much the same discovery details that we have on the box we have the discovery itself off to the side on the corners i do like that quite a lot united federation of plants logo star trek discovery of starships collection uss discovery ncc 1031 obviously you're never gonna forget that because it reminds you like three or four times on the box what collection it's from, what ship it is, and uh, it even has another product shot of the Discovery on here and all that good information. Then, of course, you have the uh, legal stuff on the bottom of the box. So let's cut the box open. We are going to need a box cover for this. <laughs> Lightsaber noises. And uh, hopefully I don't break anything. I mean, I'm not planning to sell this ship, uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But uh, either way, we'll... Get the... And there we go. That does... Ooh, 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 ooh. Trying to, well, well, there we go. All right, got a little bit more cut, and that should be enough of the cutting, and we can open up the box. Of course, the magazine is inside, so we're going to take a look at that again. Uh, the Discovery Collection opting for the smaller magazines, which I am not upset with at all. We got a very nice rendering of the Discovery. Not my favorite design. It is issue number two next to the Shenzo. It is the USS Discovery NCC-1031. It is a cross sealed class made of the 23rd century at a length of 750.5 meters, which, again, I don't quite agree with, but it is what it is and there we have the USS Discovery designing the ship there we have all of the little stand instructions looking really good it goes right in between the shuttle bay and then we have a nice side profile view of the Discovery we have a shot of the bridge of the deflector and of the impulse engines and it is a cross sealed class from the Federation in the 23rd century at a length of 750.5 meters captain originally by Gabriel Lorca we know was a traitor to the mirror universe Universe. Uh, that was actually a really good story arc uh, in the first season. My one of my favorites. Um, and then we have some renderings of Discovery USS Discovery NCC one zero three one. There we have a nice shot of Jason Isaacs or Captain Lorca. The pioneering ship was one of Starfleet's key weapons in the war against the Klingons, thanks to its spore drive, using magic mushrooms to cross the galaxy because we don't want to copy Battlestar Galactica. Anyway, uh, so there we have some orthographic views of the Discovery uh, done just like that. It does uh, look really good. Again, not a fan of this front view. Just looks all blocky and weird, but that's okay. I know that this is based off of uh, Ralph McQuarrie's original design, and you know what? I didn't like that either. So uh, there we go. And then, of course, we have a rendering of the Discovery design, the USS Discovery. And we have a bunch of sketches. Obviously, there you can see the Ralph McQuarrie, uh, Planet Blues, Planet of the Titans, or whatever it was. Uh, you kind of design all those little aspects leaking in there. Again, I'm not a fan of this design. Not my favorite design, but it is what it is. And then, of course, we have all the renderings of the Discovery. Trying to smooth out that back end there. And uh, finally got it smoothed out more and more. Now, if anybody remembers this, this was in the original. They had, uh, like, a teaser uh, before Discovery appeared on the screen. And this was kind of the ship that appeared in there. I, I thought it had a bit more... Uh, uh, creases and whatnot, but I may be wrong. And uh, there we have some renderings. So there's the ship becoming more and more like the ship. We know actually this kind of looks like the USS Emmett Till, uh, but there we go. And then is coming the Klingon Bird of Prey, which I will not be purchasing because I did not like that design. And there we have the upper orthographic view of the Discovery from Star Trek Discovery. All right, let's get this box open. And so far, uh, these, these Discovery ships, say what you will about the series, they've been a home run. So, uh, and again, and even though I don't like this design, a good model can totally change my opinion. There is the Discovery sitting inside. This is the standard model, uh, mainly for my own headcanon scaling purposes. I did not get the uh, XL. And uh, we'll take out the stand. We'll take out the little uh, pylon right there and uh, get this. I'm just going to do my uh, bear claw rip. Oh, wow. This one came off really easy. <laughs> And it is the USS Discovery NCC 1031 6710 AD, whatever that is. We will get 
our little stand in here and then of course we will get our uh thing posted up and then of course let us get the discard i'm just gonna grab it by the neck and uh wow straight away i can already feel the weight uh, i figured i wouldn't be disappointed with that I'll just throw the box off to the side and uh there we go there is the uss discovery uh right there let's get it into the stand and of course the stand nice and thin to match the profile of the ship but it is a very nice grasp and uh there we go and it looks like it's blasting off into outer space or just doing its little spore thingy and uh, going wherever it goes but either way there is the discovery so let's take a look at the discovery and again uh the thing you really notice about this is the weight i feel like this entire uh star dry section is uh is uh die cast and forgive me i was just kind of testing this because i know on the uh one set one zero three one a the uh saucer was a bit flimsy that is not here on this at least i came here i'm not trying to push too too hard in fact let me kind of take a look here and uh eh, i've heard some people reporting misalignment and it looks a little bit lopsided not enough to where i can care um, but I can notice it kind of tilting a bit this way. Uh, so yeah, and we're not going to mess with that. Um, but either way, uh, so yeah, let's get down to the model and, uh, straight away, um, you know, uh, I mean, I I've said my piece. I really don't like, I don't like all these hard edges, but, uh, I don't mind this model. This, this model does look really, really good. In fact, the USS Discovery, I, I like to see it's these details. I didn't even notice this in the show. I like this a lot. And, uh, you can see, we'll go back to the top here. You can see it's got that kind of, it, it's got this kind of bronze look to it. Discovery always did look a bit weird as Federation ships going at the, the registry on there, NCC-1031. You got all these little panels on here. Overall, very clean saucer. It's got kind of a uh, little, the Aztec is like kind of embedded in there, just kind of, you know, just literally clothed in almost. You got a nice platinum around here, around the bridge dome, the non-spinning section of this saucer. You got some molded detail right here and tons of uh, molded detail, molded in windows and uh yeah there is window misalignments it is what it, i mean this is an eagle boss issue it's not just with this ship we already know we've seen it it is what it is i don't care um and then of course we have the bridge dome bridge dome's done really good i've never been a fan of this bridge design but uh this actually looks really good i do like how it has a kind of gold all around just kind of a little bird cage look it does look very good uh the very uh plain trapezoidal neck going all the way back it kind of does have a little shine over the rest of the ship kind of makes it a little bit distinctive then you got all this nice extruded detailing along the uh, along the uh, star drive section which you know for a uh, very you know plain and very uh un uh, how, how should I say this? It is, uh, there's not much going on with this, uh, Star Drive section, but these, this detailing really adds to that. Uh, it really does kind of make things stand out, makes it look interesting, makes it look a bit more, not busy, what I would say, but it just makes it look really alive. I do like that a lot. Uh, the nacelles, and holy crap, I think the nacelles are like a, a very hard plot. I got to a little bit of loose plastic. Or again, I'm not giving that detriment to the model. It may just be my copy. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, again, the nacelles feel like really good in control. Construction. Um, not that I expect any misalignments with the nacelles, but yeah, you can see the clear the saucer has some tilt to it. Um, but yeah, and then of course, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the cells look good. I didn't, I wouldn't expect it anything less, uh, but there we go. And oh, 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 we got the little, I didn't even notice this. So we got some clear plastic. First ship in Discovery with some clear plastic. It's got the little uh, dough of the little uh, antenna sticking out there. That is a really nice touch, the original series. Uh, again, on the starter section, you do have kind of like a braille type detailing for the windows, but the windows are clearly misaligned. It is what it is. I'm not, not upset with that. And uh, I do kind of like this little swoop back up here. Got some little venting detail, uh, everything kind of coming forward to the soft. I got some little uh, line detailing coming in here, and you have some uh, paneling all the way to the back. And then we move to the back of the ship again. You got the shuttle bay doors that have some nice venting detail. Oh, wow, and more clear plastic in a nice red for the impulse engines that does look incredibly good and again you get some molded detail on the nacelles. Uh, let's see, let's see, and uh, yeah, that looks um. I think that might be clear plastic. Either that or just painted. And I really like this subtle hint of blue in here. That looks incredible. That does look good. That's really, really well done. Uh, but yeah, wow. Uh, color me impressed. Uh, like I said, I, I don't like the design, but a good model can totally sway my judgment. Let's do some comparisons real quick, and we'll bring it in with... Uh, 
it's her uh, her future self, uh, the Discovery 1031A. And uh, I forgot how good this uh, 1031A was, uh, but the, clearly the old model does feel a bit heavier on the side. Obviously, it's due to uh, the 1031A not being a full ship. We can kind of get it from the front here. And uh, yeah, I just like the more flat and more uh, smooth profile of the 1031A. I think that looks a lot better uh, than the standard model. But, but, but... I'm, I'm saying all these butts. I'm trying to get these arranged in a way that I could actually show you something worthwhile. Um, because uh, this is a very unwieldy ship, but uh, it, you know, um, honestly, I I do like. Yeah, I do think this is a really solid model. Uh, and one last comparison. Let's of course bring in the XL enterprise real quick we see how that works out and then uh this to me this scale makes sense um i i know people have their own opinions on everything but uh to me i think especially with a crew of 150 this is the, the scale that i feel makes sense the discovery should be way smaller than the enterprise in my opinion again it, it, it's all this is how my head cannon works i'm sticking to it so it is what it is but uh, i i definitely think that uh this is a much better scale uh, for the Discovery to the Enterprise. Uh, but yeah, and that's going to be pretty much it for our comparisons. So let's summarize on the Eagle Moss Star Trek official Starship's Discovery Collection, USS Discovery, issue number two in that collection. And what can I say? Uh, my opinions about the design itself, barring uh, she's a beast. She's an absolute beast. The weight on this ship is absolutely killer. I love the styling and detail. I love kind of... Even though she is more of a mostly bronze-ish bronze color, excuse me, I love how they added the little platinums, the little bronze, the little tints of gold in there, and he got some light blue for the window detailing. She does suffer from typical Eagle Moss shortcomings, uh, a little bit of misalignments here and there, uh, or some window misalignments, uh, but everything, most of the stuff is in good order. She's got a real superb weight to her, and obviously, uh, this being the hero ship, uh, they treated her with the royalty she deserves. She's got the clear plastic in there. Again, I love these little subtle details added in on the ship. Uh, it, these Eagle Moss mo uh, Discovery models have been three for three so far, home run, and uh, I think they're great, especially if you're, if you're a fan of this, if you're a fan of the show, or if you are a fan of Johnny's designs, and partly Ralph McCoy designs, uh, definitely she belongs in your collection, especially if you're going for hero ships. Uh, but that is going to conclude this review. This does get a recommend from me. I'll put a link in the description to Master Up, because I'll also put a link in the description to my Eagle Moss playlist, so you can check out more models from there. If you found this video fun and informative, consider liking and subscribing, joining my federation. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much to those of you that already are and that being said, I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper.